Hello and welcome to Board Game Gumbo. Today we're unboxing Chai by Steep Games. So we've had games about making coffee. We've had games about making beer. And now we've got a game about making tea. Chai is a game for one to five players. So there is a solo variant of the game. It plays in about 20 to 60 minutes. And there is a Kickstarter version of this game. It comes with some upgraded components. This is the retail version. So let's see what we got here. First, we got some money, pretty standard. Uh, for these types of games, you'll be buying resources with money. So um, here we have some tip jars. So this is kind of hidden information on the back of these jars will be a certain amount of money you'll earn uh, when you complete uh, recipes, essentially. And again, that'll be hidden information. So you won't really know which one you're getting. We've got these different resources in the game. So these are the different components that you'll be building teas with, at least these is, these are half the components. So we've got, you know, spices and honey and milk and looks like sugar and vanilla down here. And all this punch board is really nice, by the way, this is, it's punching out really easy and it's also thick and not flimsy at all. So the good news there, we've got our rule book here, which is fairly short here, just a couple of pages. and then different rules for solo and co-op rules as well. I actually didn't know they had a co-op mode in the game. Uh, the game does come with a little game tray for your different components. You can put your money and whatnot in here just to make things a little bit easier. We've got these. Um, these are actually part of, I believe, the Kickstarter uh, version. So it's possible we have a Kickstarter version here. These are just some extra um, components, almost like variants that they added in after the fact. So these are just little extras, little special rules to get added to the game. You could actually play without these at first and add them in later, or you can start with them. Uh, we also have some dice here. The dice are for the solo version of the game which I won't really talk about because I'm not particularly familiar with. Uh, I just know that the that's what the dice are for. And then you got some clips here. And the clips are for this little thermometer, which you can see is doubled layered. It's got a little depressed area in there. And this is just the, the round tracker, essentially. So the clip goes in here. And after each round, it'll move up until you've played a total of five rounds. We've got a little board here. This is like a market board where these different circular resource tokens will go out and you'll start the game with one of each. And then for the rest of the game, you'll pull randomly from a bag. But so that's the game would start this way with one of each on the on there. You've got a bag here of the square pieces. So we've got circular cardboard pieces and then we've got a bag of square pieces. These are both resources used in making teas. Uh, so you'll use, you'll use both essentially. Some will require both circular and square. Some will require just circular or just square. But again, we've got some little tiles here, little plastic tiles. Looks like heat shrink style on them and they're double-sided. So those are nice. We've got our market board here. Again, this is doubled layered here. And this is where these resources you just saw will go. Basically, at the start of the game, you put these out just randomly on this board, filling it all the way up. And then you can buy off of this board for, for various prices. We've got player boards here. So one player board for each player. And you can see here at the left, they've all got a different color. Uh, they also each use a different 
little resource, which we'll see later in the box. You'll have little tea leaves, essentially, per player. This is obviously a Kickstarter edition because we've also got metal money here as well. So this will just replace the cardboard money that you saw earlier. These are nice. They're really, they got a nice depth to them. They're not flat. This, this picture you see here is really nicely raised on top of it. It's nice that you can see the numbers very clearly. Sometimes these coins go a little overboard and the, the number gets lost in the decoration. They're, they're not particularly heavy, which actually I prefer. Um, some of these coins, these metal coins get really heavy and it's just, it's, you know, it's a, it's a problem. So I like that. Um, we've got a little board here. This is just where you're going to put the money for people to draw from. Like, so basically the bank, we've got another bag here for the circular pieces. So this is where all those will go. And inside of here, we've got those player pieces I was talking about. So each player is gonna start with, the black player, for instance, will start with all of the black tea leaves. And then depending on what color you're playing, you'll get different types of tea leaves. I do like the fact that there are actually different styles to the tea leaves as well. It's not just one style in a different color over and over. They got a different style for every single leaf. That's nice. Uh, we've got cups here. And these actually have a really nice weight to them. And you can see that they're nicely sculpted as well. These are where you'll be putting the different resources. So essentially these will be out on the table like so. And on your turn, one of the things you can do is you can fulfill an order and an order might require, you know, one of these and then both of these resources. And you're simply going to take these and put them into a cup and complete an order by, by doing that action. The reason there, there are cups, it seems kind of unnecessary, but this is also the timer for the round. So as I said, you play five rounds, the thermostat's gonna track your rounds, but you don't play like one action per person. You play until a certain number of these orders are completed. And it's gonna be a number of orders equal to the number of players. So if you're playing with two players, a round is going to be completing two orders. Doesn't matter if one person completes both orders, the round will be over when both these cups are used up. Also, when you complete an order like that, you're going to reveal the tip that was associated with that order and get whatever prize or is on the back of that reward. The last thing we have in here, first of all, the organizers, very nice, you know, spot to put your dice and everything like that. So. That's nice to see. And the final thing is the cards. So first of all, it's nice that they give you a little box to put them in. So your cards aren't, you know, going all over the place, especially when you're moving games around and changing them from a horizontal to vertical, you know, sometimes cards go all over the place. So the little tuck box is nice. I can tell you just from feeling this tuck box that if you try to sleeve these, it is not going to fit back in this box. Uh, which may be a problem for some people. This is obviously not a standard card size either. So if you do like to sleeve, this is gonna be, it's gonna be an issue for you. Just keep that in mind. So there are several types of cards. First type of card is player cards. So player cards come in a particular color. So the black player will have all these cards, but you're only gonna start with one of them. Essentially, at the start of the game, you're going to take the, the decks for each particular color. So the black player is going to take the black cards. They're going to shuffle them up and they're going to keep one just at random in front of them. So these cards have a couple different things on them. First is the amount of points that they're worth. At the end of the game, if you're playing with three or more players, you score points in three different ways. First way is any completed orders you score the point value of the card. Second way is through money. Money is points. And the third way, as long as you're playing with three or more players, is completing cards of each color. Because although you're gonna start with one card of your color, there's also gonna be essentially a market deck 
of every other card that's in the game. So if you're playing the black player, the blue player, and the red player in a three player game, they're each gonna start with one of their cards and then you're gonna have a communal deck of all black cards, all red cards, and all blue cards that are left over. And then there'll be a market with those cards. And from that market, you can draw cards. So you can complete cards just of your color or you can complete cards of other players' colors as well. And again, if you're playing with three, four or five players, completing cards of other people's colors give you points at the end of the game. On the bottom here, you see the resources that are required to complete this, um, this recipe. So that's how the cards work. Again, there's gonna be a set of these for each player. We've got the, the red ones here and finally the white ones. Ooh, that one's upside down. Then we get to these cards, which are ability cards, essentially. You'll play with three of these uh, on the board. They're communal, everybody can use them. And one of the actions you can take on your turn is essentially to uh, use one of these cards, use one of these abilities. And these all have different effects, obviously. And these are all in the rule book. They're actually numbered, so they're easy to find in the rule book. Finally, you've got some, or not finally, but you've got some little cheat sheet cards just to tell you how the turn works, which is very simple. On your turn, you're gonna choose an action. You can either go to the market, you get money as well as the ability to spend money for resources there. You can take three items from the pantry, which are the circular cardboard pieces, or you can reserve a customer, which are the player cards, like I said, will be in the, uh, in the market in the center. So you can reserve one of them to put them in front of you so that only you can complete it and use one of these special ability cards, which are available for that particular game. And then back here, we actually have three additional cards per player color. These were added in. These are basically like Kickstarter add-ons or exclusives. Um, I don't know if they'll be available for the retail game. And then more ability cards, and then we have some blank cards here at the very back if you want to make your own. If you want to make your own cards, essentially, uh, you can even make. There's also a blank uh, power card, so you can make your own special ability. And then you've got these little rule cards that explain those additional abilities uh, that we saw, like it explains the solo dice and it explains those little wild pieces that we saw that were the Kickstarter add ons. And that's it, that's everything you're gonna get in the Kickstarter version of Chai from Steep Games.